Good evening. Good evening. We welcome you to Pope St. John the 23rd Catholic Church and especially to any visitors or newcomers to our parish. We welcome you to our community. Today is the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. The announcements for this week are the giving tree. Sister Anna will be setting up the giving tree for the homebound and nursing home for Christmas on November 27th, the first Sunday of Advent. Please see bulletin for more information. Advent retreat. All are invited to an Advent retreat Saturday, December 3rd, after the 4.30 p.m. Mass, and on Sunday morning, after the 9.45 a.m. Mass. Christmas food drive. Ministry of the Poor are collecting food donations for the Christmas food drive, same items as for Thanksgiving. Food drive will begin this weekend through December 14. Please take a bulletin home for more information. The Mass today is being celebrated by Father Henry. In today's reading, we learn the following lesson. In Hebron, David is hailed as king of the tribes of Israel. Jesus is anointed on the wood of the cross, a sign of paradox, of defeat, yet final victory. Through his cross, we have passed from darkness into the kingdom of light. Please join me in praying the St. Michael prayer. This prayer is being said for the right to life as taught by our Catholic faith. St. Michael, Saint Michael Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer for the intercession of Pope St. John the Twenty-Third. Almighty God, who in Pope St. John the Twenty-Third gave us the whole world, an example of the Good Shepherd, grant through his intercession that with the same joy we may spread the fullness of Christian charity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. <coughs> We have a guest. Good evening. I just wanted to tell you that we filled 81 baskets, so there's going to be 81 happy families because of your generous donations and volunteering. And I really want to say thank you because there was people that showed up that were just couldn't believe that we could do that for them. Christmas. Um, we're going to have Christmas downstairs next Saturday, just some decorations and things, and you can just help yourself, and we're just accepting donations. So anything that you see and you want to help you make your Merry Christmas, just feel free to pick it up. Also, um, there is donations that will be accepted, like she said, for the Christmas baskets. And so we'll let you know later when they're going to be distributed. Working together is always a win-win situation, and we were really successful. So I do want to thank you again. Please rise for our entrance. <laughs>
let us begin this holy celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the lord be with you dear brothers and sisters in christ as we are here today gathering for the celebration of the solemnity of christ the king being the last sunday last week of the liturgical year we conclude with the feast the celebration of jesus as our king and lord and therefore as we are gathered here let us submit ourselves to him and ask him to bless us that we will be able to one day meet him as our king as our judge and as our lord and for the moments that we have failed to follow him in his footsteps we feel sorry and ask him for his pardon and strength I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of all the angels and the saints, and, the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray.
Almighty ever living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel, and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share 
in the inheritance of the holy ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or, dom or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, He saved others, let him save himself. He is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the King of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuked him and replied, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you have come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, celebrate the solemnity of Jesus Christ, the King of the Universe, not just the man, King of the Universe. 
we call him king of the universe for uh, two reasons the one for what he is for what he is we call uh, the lion king of the jungle <coughs> not just because how how gorgeous the look of the lion is how powerful his marching is his roaring is and we call gold the king of the metals for its value and for uh, how strong it is and when we call jesus the king of all the man lived on earth he stands out he stands out for how he lived how he lived and how he loved he stands out he is a supreme of all human beings he has shown us all the way for what he is he was a noble loving human the perfect we can imagine a human the perfect we can imagine and that's what we see in the second reading of today where saint paul says he is the image of the invisible god he is the image of the invisible god we have not seen god's face but we see him the person of jesus god revealed himself in jesus and therefore he calls jesus is the image of the invisible god and that's where for what he is he is the image of the invisible god he is son of god and he is a perfect human being that has ever lived in the face of the earth and therefore he is a king and second for what he did for what he did in april 1865 when the slain body of abraham lincoln was laid abraham lincoln was laid and all the people were paying respect to his uh, body and in the long queue there was a black woman coming with her small son you all might have heard of her she lifted him up as he reached near the coffin lifted him up and showed him have a long long look at honey this man died for you this man died for you that would be the statement that each of the mother has to say to his son and to his daughter showing this man hanging on the cross have a long long look at he died for us he died for us and that's what he did charles clausen a uh, advisor of uh, richard richard nixon <coughs> once told of all the king and queens that i have come across in the history of mankind of all the kings and queens there is one big difference one big difference every king or queen send their people to die for them every king and queen send their people to die for them while one man died for his people one man died for his people and that king makes a big difference and that king makes a big difference and that's what we celebrate today he gained us all through his love he gained us all through his love not through his army not through his power he gained us all through his love and that's where he stands out among all other kings and we hail him today the king of the universe because he conquered us all through his love <coughs> dear brothers and sisters in christ with this sunday the liturgical year comes to an end and final destination what we imagine what we imagine of jesus coming in his glory as a king of the universe to judge to judge of all the living and the dead he comes as a judge as a king as a ruler and the liturgical year concludes with this image 
of presenting what we imagine wildly that the day will come when Christ comes to judge us all as a king, as a ruler. It is mercy, of course. It is mercy. If he has to judge us all by his power, I don't know how many of us will live. But he has shown what he is made of. All. What he is made of. All. He is made of love. And therefore, through his love, he has come to show us all the way to be saved. And we are here today to pay him our respects, to, hear, to show him that we love him, to show him that we love him, and we try to keep up with him in his pace as he has gone before us, that we walk closely with him, and that we will one day want to reach where he is. That's all what we are trying to say today, that we accept him as our king. We accept him as our king. And we accept his rule and surrender, his, surrender our will to his and then try to follow him in the way that he led us, the way of love. And there is no greater love than a man can show than to lay his life for his friends. He not only said, he did. And for this, what he did, he is king. And this, for what he did, is king. So dear brothers and sisters, as we are celebrating this great solemnity of Christ as our king, we pray that our hearts be filled with the same love, that we will be able to imitate Jesus in our lives, and that we will be able to follow him closely, so that we will be in front of him one day, where he comes in his might, in his power, to call us all, well done, good and loyal servant, you have kept up your faith and you have lived up your faith. Amen. Let us stand up and profess our faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father and before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God to true God, begotten and ordained. Consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and upon his Father. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with his scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, to whom the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and the Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, confident in God's love and mercy towards all of us, we pray to Him and place before Him ourselves and all our needs. For the church, the body of Christ, that it be a living of hope for all in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the world, 
that all who govern tend first to the needs of the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our For prisoners and those condemned to death, that they be con reconciled to God and know peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, especially those with terminal Ill, illness, that their near, nearness to God bring them healing and hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the many caring stewards in our parish who have given generously of their church and response to the many gifts God has given them, we ask that they may be supported in their efforts on the continuous journey to becoming gifted and generous stewards. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the members of this worshiping assembly, that their faith is resurrection, cast out all fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy in the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer, and those that are held in our hearts, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our loving Father, thank you for sending us your Son as our Savior and Redeemer. Help us to know him better in our lives and follow him more closely that where he is, we, the sheep, will be able to follow him more closely and reach where he is. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and marking all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glory as without change we acclaim We give you praise, Father Most Holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image, and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them countenance, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And so you love the world, Father Most Holy, that in fullness of time you send your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the goodness of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, you gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might no longer live for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he may sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant, for when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, he loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, <coughs> Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the wine, he gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, 
as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption we remember christ's death his descent to the realm of death we proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand and as we await his coming in glory we offer you his body and blood the sacrifice acceptable to you which brings salvation to the whole world look o lord upon the sacrifice which you yourself have prepared for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gather into one body by the holy spirit we may truly become a living sacrifice in christ to the praise of your glory therefore lord remember now all for whom we offer now this sacrifice especially francis our pope paulation our bishop the whole order of the bishops all the clergy those who pay partake in this offering those gathered here before you your entire people <coughs> and all who seek you with a sincere heart remember also those who have died in the peace of your christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known to all of us your children grant your merciful father that we may enter into heavenly inheritance with the blessed virgin mary mother of god and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom there with the whole of creation free from the corruption of sin and death may we glorify you through our lord jesus through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Jesus has taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory of your souls now and forever lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other some sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.